right. Um, all right. Yeah, let's get into some of these other signings here. Yeah, we can get off the sure, Dolphins because sure, sure. uh, we're going to be back. We're going to be talking about these players all year, all for real. Time. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, I think Bro, we, I love this time of the year. Like, honestly, yeah. like football season is year round. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. You got so much going on at all times. You got pro days. You got spring football in college, which, man, I can't wait for Alabama's season this year. People are expecting a downfall, and I do not think so. So, do I'm you excited. think there's going to be any um, effect? Like, you think there's going to be a down year at all? Or, um, I don't, okay, so I don't think a down year. I think that the team was really young last season. Now, we lost a lot, but we also kept a lot. Like, again, when, when you look at our roster, it's fucking talented. Um, we also got a lot in the transfer portal. So, when you look at it, we're going to have we have one of the most experienced offensive lines, which, and we upgraded that center. Uh, which actually he's not even listed as a starting center, the one that transferred from Washington, which he sh- which I think that's formality. Yeah. I think he will be the starting center. Um, or well, Debuer doesn't want to be playing favorites. Exactly. Like um, like and that. then uh, Jalen Milrow is definitely going to win that job, and he's only going to get better. He's worked on his throwing motion. The fact this motherfucker is having to win jobs still. Bro, would you, listen, hey, man, Jalen Hurts, hey, it's hey, a yeah, that yeah. that's the pressure. And you know what? That's, that's, like, that's pressure Alabama. I don't agree with it necessarily, but it is yeah. what it is. But he worked on his throwing motion and fixed that lower half, buddy. It looks good. Yeah, no, I like that. So, and, and uh, um, I did have another question, but I want to stick on. Talented. I don't want to stick on this for too long. We yeah. can come back to no, it. Go, go, go. But just because when I edit this, yeah. sometimes I'll be editing it. <laughs> I'll have a video in just <laughs> the middle just, of it. Or, I, I'm on a random rant. I don't get. Yeah, no, my it, bad. That's, it's it's any of us. What you get? Okay. I, I, yeah. No. You, well, the thing is, it's I, a gift and a curse. I like that. It doesn't bother me for uh, like podcasts that I listen to. So usually definitely not a big thing it's just this uh <laughs> this draft thing is a big topic yeah, that yeah, we're yeah. going through so i definitely want to make sure that we're able to uh be concise with Get our opinions on, on it um so let's go position to position that seems like that's how this is set up and okay. that'll be just pretty easy so quarterbacks are first um kirk cousins according to pff is the top quarterback in the uh, free agency this is pff by the way so um these are all going to be based off their gradings of these players. Um, so he went to the Atlanta Falcons four years, 180 million. Um, so he obviously <laughs> one of the savviest businessmen that we've ever had come into the NFL. What is that? 45. This man, Kirk Cousins does, does not love you. Just know that <laughs> he will pack this he shit wants up. His money. Yeah. He wants his money. He's not playing for the love of shit. He needs his fucking money. How many years? Um, four years. Yeah, 45, 45. Good mental math, buddy. Nice. Um, so then I, I'm going to get your opinion on these one by one, but we have Baker Mayfield right after that. Resigned with his team, Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, three years for a hundred million. And um, yeah, interesting. And then it, uh, that's actually fair enough for, for, for Baker. And then we could do Russell Wilson here, Pittsburgh Steelers, 1.2 million. Uh, and then I'll just throw Gardner Minshew in as a, you know, kind of extra. These are the guys that are going into their jobs as the starting quarterbacks, essentially, is why I want to touch on uh, these names specifically. And we can get into some of the other guys that moved around. But these guys, I think, are going into the teams with the idea that they will be the starting quarterback. Uh, definitely with Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield. And then uh, Russell Wilson, I think, has a pretty good handle on that. Gardner Minshew, I'm sure it'll be a situation where he'll have to go in and compete. But I think there's a good idea that he's going to come out and be the starter starter there. So um, how do you feel about each of these? Kirk Cousins, let's start there. Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I, I think that Kirk always knows how to secure a bag. Good for him. Yippee. Um, can't hate, at a, hate on it at all. I think it's actually a fair price for him. I mean, it's below the top tier quarterbacks. It's right there around that, that what's going to be at the top of the tier three, tier two, no bottom tier two quarterbacks as, yeah. as far as pay. And that's about where he's at. So I think, I mean, dude, he's a good, he, listen, we, we can always hate on it just because it's Kirk cousins and it's fun. But when you really break it down, the guy's a really good quarterback. He plays yeah. the position the right way. And I mean, he makes the throws that he needs to make. Yeah, I think uh, that could just be a little boring for some people. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you. Boring, I think, it don't matter. I think that he's so. a he's a unique case as well because he's a little bit of a journeyman as far as right. like he bounces around a little bit, but everywhere he goes, he he picks performs. up the offense and, and performs. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this weapons. is an interesting. This is an interesting career path that we're yeah. seeing. So I mean, I don't really have an issue with it. Him and this will be his a legacy funny. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like 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 I can't wait to see the whole um <laughs> how far. The, the jewelry shit goes oh, with yeah. him in, in Atlanta. I'm sure. Yeah, um, I, crazy. I, th- th- this should open it up for Pitts. If, and this is, if Pitts can't get it with Kirk Cousins going, because I mean, he loves his fucking tight ends, then 
as far as the jewelry, by the way, just because it's a side topic, Quavo was already talking like, hey, man, let my man come down here and uh, said something like, we're calling him Kirko Frost or some shit. <laughs> so, like, See, yeah, he's, bro, he fits so, yeah, Atlanta, bro. I love it. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. He is man. corny. Yeah. Ass, bro, listen. But he's like the nicest guy. If you watch quarterback, bro, he's like this. Him or he's, so, he's a real like, he nice are, guy. Would you say he's in his prime? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I uh, it, it's going to be interesting coming off an Achilles. Sure. Yeah. We're going to see how he bounces back again. Modern medicine is modern medicine. I believe yeah. in it. That's but it does. Um, I think that uh, we're going to have to see how he bounces back. But the offense, it really fits what he does. You're going to have a strong running game with a strong running back that catches the ball really well. And if you look at his running backs, they usually catch the ball. Uh, his tight ends, he likes to go to, and then he has. I want, a, I want to ask you about a specific comp real quick, just before we get uh, too far past uh, where we were at. Kirk Cousins uh matt ryan prime how do you feel about uh like where like who would you take i guess is really the question oh that's interesting uh, i guess yeah. matt ryan to be fair I mean, okay all right, i'm curious yeah i mean just to be fair to Matt ryan i mean i think that kirk does things better and and, the, and i think that uh it's no insult to kirk I, but when you look at that time of uh matt ryan i mean he was kind of yeah, that, that's the what what gives him the oh, he, he had julio who uh, you believe is the best wide receiver of all time right I think he's in the conversation he's in the conversation yeah. I, I think that pe- people are going to pick it apart because of, that's what people do but when you break it down you listen to what, <laughs> say i'm wrong and, 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 and you listen to what dbs have said and you really break it down yeah i mean in, in their prime you would take probably randy and then i mean the best of their ability julio I mean, yeah it's just the way i go people I put you. calvin there i mean i get so, it yeah for sure but, uh anyways but uh i think kirk's i uh, i think it's a good deal for atlanta i think it's going to be interesting that division he's going to a division that he can win and so, in the same division you got bake the other rumor uh for this team was justin fields was heavily in the conversation I'd for the atlanta have. falcons yeah i'd rather have kirk kirk 100 yeah. percent. all right so uh that's interesting i mean obviously I don't know. Justin Fields with the amount of talent they have, yeah, but is but, really advantageous. But, but the talent really doesn't matter if if you're not getting the ball on schedule, right? Yeah. Like like it's with Justin Fields, there's going to be big plays. Sure. But are you going to have consistent offense? With Kirk Cousins, you're going to have consistent offense. I think and they signed Darnell Mooney, by the way. Who the the Falcons? Falcons I'm pretty Shit, sure. dude. That's with Drake London, Darnell Mooney, Kyle Pitts. Who, again, who he should be. Uh, yeah. Bijan Robinson. That's and then who's the other receiver there? I can't, yeah, I'm going to space, yeah. but anyways, doesn't matter. Okay. He has it to where as long as you can get the ball off on schedule and you get the ball to the open guys, that's what's going to work on that offense. Yeah. So I um, okay. Well, either way, I just wanted to uh, mention that because that was a, uh, a rumor. So Baker Mayfield here resigns with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, three years, a hundred million. So that's uh, like thirty-three million a year, about. Which, which again, I think when we were talking, we were saying Baker's uh, thirty. Thirty million dollar guy, so it's that's right there. I think it's good. Um, I feel good for Bake. It's kind of like a two year thing, two year, and we'll see. But at least he he's going in somewhere where it's like, hey, listen, this is my team, this is my building. So good for Baker. And the, you think the Bucks made the right decision there? Yeah, yeah. I think the Bucks yeah. made the right decision. I think that they get a quarterback that took him to the playoffs last year while he was kind of shaking, knowing where he was going to be. And I think that that confidence means a lot. You see it everywhere. When you feel at home and you feel like, I don't have to look over my shoulder, you you get to play better. And I think that it's he's only going to get better. I think that his experiences has, have really humbled him. You see a different Baker. Mm. And I think he's more living in the moment, Bake. And I, I really, I, I like it for Tampa. I like them bringing back Mike Evans. Yeah, We're going to see if they probably draft another playmaker. Um, that offensive line is really good. They did lose Jensen. He retired. Mm. So, again, you're looking at another team that can go for uh, the center from Oregon. I think, But also, like, to, to your point, this is, I mean, uh, $33 million is a lot of money, obviously, but this does still give that team. And if if you are going to say that Baker Mayfield's limited in some way, you still be able to put a really great team around him. I mean, that's, that's key yeah. there. So, I mean, yeah, you can win. Um, he's not breaking the bank. No, he's not, and you have a long term commitment. You have a long term commitment there for you have the quarterback as yep. long as he continues to play like he does. Uh, but he's not breaking your bank. Usually, most teams have to break their bank in order for that peace of yep. mind. Literally, yep. that peace of mind and, costs you fifty million a year. And and if he doesn't perform to what you expect this season, then you draft a quarterback next year. Which again, that's where you're going to have some more good quarterbacks coming out. Um, and then you kind of have that that bridge year. I mean, there, there's options there. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, if, I mean, if, or if he, he could be your guy for eight years. Yeah, or, exactly. Or he performs to, to what you expect. Well, I think he could. And then, yeah, you, you keep him around and, and there it is. I mean, yeah. you don't have to be the best quarterback in the league to, to get long-term court, uh, contracts. It's impossible to do that. Sure. There's one best quarterback in the league. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, um, I, I, I don't hate yeah. it at all. I like it. Uh, so Russell Wilson, uh, want to go ahead and touch on this. The Pittsburgh Steelers, 1.2 million. And, uh, for those of you guys that know, he was released. So Denver broke that contract. So they're still paying him out Ooh. like 32 million or something like that. Hey, we said it last week that th- this was a move for Pittsburgh. And hey, man, good, good shit. I, 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 as a, as somebody who's married to a Pittsburgh fan, I'm happy for. for How do they feel? They're, they're, How's they're happy. Like they're happy. <laughs> and my husband. That's funny. But, but they're happy. But at the end of the day, like it's, it's because of the money. You're happy. The, the, the worst that you're getting is a guy who, who's won the Super Bowl, who's been to another. Yeah. With you all the time to go fuck off. With all the experience. There's being, any issue. Yeah. But but you're but you're getting a one one for one and a half million dollars. You're getting somebody with with some of the most pedigree in the NFL to mentor Kenny Pickett, or you're getting Russell Wilson beating him out and giving you solid quarterback play on a team mm-hmm. that is built. I, I think the to pay, have yeah. just the, solid quarterback. The pay play. is such a unique thing. I think we might have been in a really interesting place with Russell Wilson had he hit free agency um, and. Uh, not had that 32 million or whatever he's getting paid. So he had this, this, you know, flexibility with how much he can go ahead and right. Uh, work. Like we basically we may have ended up seeing him go and be a backup quarterback for the giants or something. You know what I mean? To get wild, any money, dude. you know, to get any money though, at that point. Cause I mean, uh, you would have had to go to somebody's desperate, the Steelers, they're such a great organization. They're not going to overpay Bro. for something uh, that could put them in position <laughs> like uh, the, um, fucking broncos bro, oh that's wild honestly you're able to exactly you're able to pay him cheap and listen man let let, let me ask you this yeah do you think who, who would you rather take in at this point in their careers when Tannehill left miami well that's actually the next person we're gonna talk about and then we're gonna move on past quarterbacks not signed yet only top five quarterback according to pff that as far as free agents go that's they not signed. signed so would you rather have Tannehill when he was leaving miami or a second year in tennessee or would you rather have Russell Wilson now? And and then I asked that because because the offense is is Arthur Smith's offense, which I mean yeah. is is the offense that he went off in that probably year. probably Russell Wilson because the pay. But I mean, if the pay was the same, I don't know. That's real close. That's not a. And I mean, I don't feel great about either of them. Don't get it twisted. Obviously. Uh. So yeah, I mean, because Russell Wilson's only commanding the one point two, and Ryan Tannehill is probably in the position that Russell Wilson might have been in, where he's looking to get paid like a starting quarterback, and teams are looking at him like, I don't know if you're gonna right. start for us. But um. So you know. Ryan Tannehill will be out here trying to get 30 million a year and teams are looking at him like, bro, no. No, but but like 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 point being that this this offense with Arthur Smith is a play action offense for the quarterback where it's simple reads and you have they're shopping Deontay, but you have George Pickens, you have uh Darnell yeah, Walker, you have Fry Muth, you have uh, Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, you have all this talent where they're gonna run the ball just like they did in Tennessee with Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. Right, with a two-headed monster, and it's just play-action football. With Najee Harris, who yeah. barely fucking run last year. Yeah, but they um, get a scheme. But again, uh, you have um, a quarterback run forward, fast, bro. You you please. have a quarterback who Russell Wilson last year was 11, 11 touchdowns and one interception uh, yeah. with play-action pass. Yeah, and an offense is going to be play-action pass. So I, I think it to, works. I want to get to some of these comments. So, uh, so I, look, I'm not sure exactly how we're saying your name. So Sinu we. Uh, or see new W Y. I don't know. We'll just, uh, I'll use the excuse that I'm high, but I'll also that I'm stupid. Um, so let's see. We said, uh, still, and by the way, on Twitch, appreciate you. By the way, most of our content is on YouTube. Um, and, but right now we're shadow being on YouTube. So we're experimenting with some shit. Um, so Steelers are winning free agency. It's not even close. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Can't shit. Do it fucking dropped his. Yo, they there. did get Patrick Queen. Oh yeah, that was fine. But, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get yeah, there. We're, we're gonna, gonna get, get there. there. We're, gonna... we're definitely gonna get there. We're gonna go position by position. So when we get to linebacker, I'm I'm curious if he's a top rated linebacker, probably. Oh. Yeah. So Steelers are getting a steal. I agree with that. The steal. money just yeah, it makes the whole Russell Wilson is better than Pickett. Uh you 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 hope. We I, yeah, I, I think so. I believe so. I agree. But we will see. 
So we'll yeah, see. I also agree. And the thing Kenny Pickett is, was held back. He was held is, back by fucking Matt Canada, who sucked at LSU. I don't get how he was a coach in the NFL. But the thing is, to your point, to both your guys' points, it's like I agree with you too. Like Russell Wilson is probably better than Kenny Pickett. But even if he's not, then you're only you're paying him what you would pay any backup court less than what you would pay any yeah, other backup he quarterback. Be the best backup and quarterback he has, ever. And like, he has Super Bowl pedigree. MVP caliber season exactly. under his belt, belt. So I mean, yeah, he has a lot of. Uh, you can't replace that knowledge. As long as he's not, as long as he's not a complete a fucking asshole. Which one? Is right, like? then it's not my job. <laughs> it's not my job. Oh, to yeah, make it's not my better. job. Like, Fuck you. And now look at you, Ryan Tannehill. Now yeah. that's the only job that anybody will hire you for. Come in right. here and try Come to help on. somebody, and you can't even get a fucking job because listen. And, and I told you before. Yeah. I want to listen. I want to. If you're a quarterback like with that attitude. Yeah. I'm not fucking hiring you because listen, I'm not signing you, hiring you. I'm not signing you because at the end of the day, if you're not going to sit there and bust everything that you have to to prep our starter for the for the week ahead because yeah. we need that, then and 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 you're not going to do it because you want that sliv, sliver of hope that you'll get him in and get the chances. You're not a movie, bitch. Well, but hold on, but but maybe. Gonna, well, sorry, but not calling him a little, bitch. It is a little bit different than that. He carries it, guns. Who, right? You know, fuck him, honestly. Fuck him, Never come back to that motherfucker. Never come back to Florida, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, like honestly, like, that's one person. If I had the opportunity to duel somebody, <laughs> he'd be high on the fucking list as a Dolphins fan. Um, Dude, no, I just hit a drag on third and fourteen. But no, like so, uh, uh, you are right, but it is a little bit different because at that time he was the starting quarterback. So they went and they drafted somebody. He was still presumably the starter. And he's like, I'm not going to prepare the person that's in wake for my job. It's not necessarily like, I mean, and he may have done this as well because he's a dickhead, but um, you know, it's not necessarily the same as like you are a backup quarterback. And you're like, I'm not going to help in preparation. That's a little bit different than I think what he was doing. So if you're like, yeah. was, uh, <clears throat> sorry, damn, if you're Washington, yeah, would you, uh, Look at signing in for what, like 14, 15, I'm, I'm a 20 mil. I mean, you can't give him 30. I mean, that's no again, thir- 30 million is bridge quarterback money. Right? There's no amount of money I'd feel comfortable putting in that man's hands. I think he's definitely signing for a one year deal because he's going to probably want more than what the market. That's probably why he hasn't signed. He, what he team needs a... a fucking shit quarterback? The Giants. Yeah, I mean the Giants and, need and Daniel Jones so they deal it out. And the thing is, because they come need, back to Miami, be your backup, right? No, they need keep somebody that away from us and <laughs> the need, fan base. They need somebody because right, Brian Dable. I, I'm not. I don't think that the hot this the the seat is like sizzling, but I do think it's it's, it's heating. Yeah, I do think that you know he needs to show and prove something. Burners so on. by the end of this season, I think the Giants are going to want to see something. So. Daniel Jones, for that reason, has a short leash if he even starts the season as a, a starter, to be honest. Um, I'm sure they'll do their due diligence on the quarterbacks and draft and uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, all right. So, Ryan Tannehill, basically, we, we all agree it's fuck him. Um, yeah. I, like, what, who could use a quarterback? I mean, so the Vikings, they just, but they signed Sam Darnold. So <laughs> they're probably just rocking with him. Yeah. But they did lose. Uh, Bro, how does some quarterbacks just keep getting chances? Yeah, my dog just threw that off the phone. <laughs> How does some um, uh yeah, Drew Locke got a job with the Giants? Um <laughs> I mean expectations. And then also like Sam Darnold, he kept himself off the field last year. So it's like I don't know. Yeah, you just didn't see anything. So there's still expectations. I think he's still living off that a little bit. People were really sold. Bro, he's obviously we know he's what like second overall pick in that draft. So I mean, people were sold on him. I did not get it. He looked like a fucking goofball in college, in my opinion. How he just, yeah, he was another one of those guys that kind of like there was the only wow moments that I saw with him were times where he made plays that were completely off time. And it's like, okay, well that's that's cool, but you did a fucking Tebow pass for fucking 30 yards. I don't know. I'm not drafting you off that brother. No, no. Um, that's honestly, but in contrast, I'm a believer in Caleb Williams. Cause I, I, I don't think it's exactly like, that's why we didn't really get into the last time Caleb Williams being like, I feel like he's ha- he has to be one of the most hated prospects. Of all we'll time. see, man. He gets fucking heaters. Does he? Uh, what? What? Come yes, he, bro. He's, some he's of also portrayed said, as the best quarterback uh, some, ever. Some of the shit that I see said about him is like the shit that Cam Newton thought was being said about him. For real. you know what I mean? When, I, when Cam Newton, had, 
He had cameras follow him just so he could be upset at the oh, fucking draft. Oh my fuck, god. Bro. They want me to throw. Okay. Yeah, brother. Before we bro, fucking draft the first man. fucking listen, overall. I'm, I'm not gonna hate on I have already hated on Caleb. I'm not going to Caleb because... is special. But the thing is we'll see. I guess we'll like, see. Like, 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 like he's that. really oh, good. Caleb, my bad. No, yeah, I said Cam. Yeah, I, I, Cam I thought Caleb's you were saying, really yeah, good. good. Listen, listen. It's he, he, ah. he's fan, he's fantastic we'll see again yeah. he's portrayed as the best quarterback ever and it's like he's, he's also won. portrayed he, as he a did, fucking he didn't win head. He's but, a, portrayed as a dickhead and people are like yeah there's nothing new i think he's gonna be better than kyler murray i'll say that okay uh, yeah i think he'll be better than kyler murray i don't i'm not somebody if that that's his like, ceiling like i mean but that's a lot of that's a lot of the comps and also kyler murray was the number one overall pick bro like it's not like this is like a right. shithead he's getting he's like, linking around his to. offense well, I think in that's, no, that's, the, right. I'm gonna that's a comparison. That's right. The the no, off timing kind of shit is the we'll comparison. See. But in my opinion, I don't think I've ever seen fucking uh, Kyler Murray have show the arm, bro. That Caleb Williams has no, no. Caleb Williams has an arm. He has he a has fucking a cannon, cannon, he has a cannon, dog. Cannon. Yeah, and so he's I mean, athletic as hell. Athletic as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's really good. Yeah, I, it'll be interesting. That'll be an interesting thing for us to follow. And something uh, as he's better. Who? I think Drake May is the oh, better Drake quarterback. No, I like Drake May. I think that's going to be interesting. I, I think this. I like Jaden Daniels. I think that, Daniels. That's why, to be honest, I think this quarterback <laughs> class is re- very interesting. It that, stops there. Though. That was one of the reasons I was like, "Oh, we need to figure out about Tua," because this quarterback class, I would have been more interested in getting in on the next year's. But see, the, yeah, the, but you the, never know. Things change. Someone's going to reach course. on Bo Nix, who. Yeah, it was not great in, uh, uh, at Auburn. At, at Auburn, wasn't then, great. He was dog shit. It was horrible. His and then and then improved, like, dude, it was bro. horrible. <laughs> no, but like I was sad as an Alabama fan, real quick. Like, I was sad <laughs> that he left Auburn. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh come he on, he was dog shit. No, but the thing, and that was with Gus Mazon, right? Malzahn yeah. or whatever the fuck. So look. His college progression, though, is something that I feel like honestly does His not get spoke about. Enough. Was, well, you're right. It was, it was a Pac-12 progression. Oh my god! But he looked like a different fucking quarterback. And yeah, no, but when, he did. But also, when he first got there, he did it really. There was a progression with Bo Nix. No, the he did get much him. better. He, he did. He got better. He, he got, got better. better. He got yeah. better. But yeah, come on. No, nah, I mean, I feel you. We'll is, see, dude. Okay, he and then the JJ McCarthy. Over. I'm not jumping on the hype. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not listening to this JJ McCarthy hype. Oh, bro, okay. I'm not with that. Come I on. You like JJ. No. Oh, yeah, I'm not with that Listen, at all. He reminds me of Desmond Ritter. Oh, better shit. Desmond Ritter. Like, it's just. Yeah, I can see that. Like, it, it's just. No, come on. Man. on. I'm not. Maybe Deuce might have. <laughs> Deuce, if you're in <laughs> here, man, let me know, bro. But he, somebody, he has a gun. Somebody close to but me damn. was like, JJ uh, McCarthy is going to be a monster. At bro, the next level. listen. Like, yeah, like I don't the, see it. Like, at the first. combine when he was throwing. I'll, I'll say this. When quarterbacks miss in, the, in those in those drills. It's usually in front or behind because of timing purposes, because you don't know the speed of the player. Yeah. When you're throwing over, that's an accuracy issue. Yeah. When you're throwing over on a 10 yard out route, yeah. And it's back to back. That's an accuracy issue. So, like, is he talented? Yes. Do I think that he's worth the first round pick? No. That's yeah. your quarterback. That's a second, like late second, third round pick that, hey, listen, we're going to take the chance. We'll see. That's not, bro, you listen, man. Some team's going to draft him in the first. And yeah, we would have been that team. We would have been that team. That would have been us. We would have been oh at, at, at 1921, and we'd be like, all right, well, we got to take the chance, right? JJ we got to do it. Chad Henney fucking redo. And then um, I'm not going to say he's Chad. He's definitely well, I mean, better than Chad. But yeah, no, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. But it's, uh, no, like, again, man, uh, people are really hyping up quarterback play. It's really good right now, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it all translates. I mean, the NFL is a different game. Well, here, so. Uh,